Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi and welcome. Thank you for clicking into this video. My name is Jennifer. I make contents about houseplants. In today's video, I am going to be showing you some of the plants that I consider my super plants. These are plants that uh, just thrives from neglect. Almost, they are just plants that uh, are very easy, super easy care actually. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, you guys, the first plant I am showing you today is this Syndapsus uh, Trubia and Moonlight. This plant is very easy care. I am uh, just hanging this on this south facing window. And to be honest, I don't really do anything to this one except for watering it once in a while if you can see the bottom there are some roots coming out of that pot but uh, it is not as bad yet so i guess i am gonna leave it as uh, is for now and then maybe uh, next summer i will uh, repot it into a bigger pot because as of this time it is still doing well so i don't think i need to do anything to it yet so yeah this is my syndapsus trubii moonlight i am sorry if it is backlit i just find it hard to put it back because it is high for me where it's hanging so and actually this moment I am standing on the couch these are my feet <laughs> so short people problem so yeah this is my Syndapsus Trubii Moonlight that is very very happy here it gets almost like a bright light the whole day so very beautiful plant. I love the thick leaves of this one. And I also knew when it needs water because the leaves get super soft. This is my Syndapsus Trubii Moonlight. That is doing very well. And that is the full view of that side. Now we are going to my plant wall sort of thing. So I have the plant here that basically does well from neglect. This is my anthurium, just a regular anthurium flamingo, I think it is called. It is doing very well over here. I have never moved this plant from here because although the leaves are not growing so huge it is flowering and it just seemed happy here I mean it really is just happy here I only water this once in a while because this is a lower light area so the soil doesn't really dry up too quickly very easy care and I love the flower of this one that is my anthurium flamingo that is just hanging out with my other plant there all right the next one I have is this Syndapsus pictus argerius that is trailing all the way down there so it is super long and it is growing so well this is a very low light area here it is far from the window I think five feet away from the window and it is growing it is giving me a lot of new growth super pretty plant and it just is growing even if it's in a low light area and I love how full the top is 
I have propagated this plant a lot. I already uh, got a lot of cuttings from this one. Although the leaves are a little smaller, I actually don't mind it too much. I mean, it's still going and that's all that matters. And it's still beautiful. And someday I know more vines will come out and it would look fuller down here. So as of now, I just let it trail like that. I have uh, a few more vines here that are shorter. So yeah, I just wrapped it around the side of the TV because I don't want it to be covering too much of the screen. I really don't have uh, somewhere else to put this one and I kind of like how it trails down on the side of the TV because it feels like without it there it feels like it's just a blank space I have a shelf here that I still don't know sorry about the laundry there so this is a shelf that I am trying to figure out yet what to put there but because yeah as I said this is a lower light area here so I need to figure out strategically what would fit in there so yeah this is my Syndapsus pictus argerius okay. okay guys the next one I have just beside the Syndapsus pictus argerius is my uh, philodendron bacille that is also growing happily like I have it wrapped over there in a screw because I want it to trail all the way down there to the other side and it is doing well it is also giving me a lot of new growth although I must say some of the leaves are just pure green now because of the lower light but I don't mind it I mean it's still beautiful I like the green leaves too like this one is just green and it is dusty too <laughs> but look at this one this is like neon green <laughs> very beautiful plant it is super vibrant and it gives some uh, brightness to this area here especially when it is a gloomy day outside having this here is just an array of sunlight for me <laughs> so yeah this is my philodendron bacille this one I can bottom water because it is sitting on a, a tray so I bottom water this one once in a while when I see the leaves are droopy so yeah this is my philodendron bacille that is doing well just on the top of the shelf on a lower light area Next is the regular Hoya carnosa that is doing super well. It has two tendrils, if that's what you call it, that is going all the way to the ceiling. And this is the, the pot. I just have it hanging there too. I am sorry I can't take it down because it's hard to put it back. But I think you can see clearly how it is looking. It is doing super well for me. It had given me three flowers this summer. And I think I still have one left somewhere down there. Hold on. I am going to go around so I could show you the flower. I am standing on the couch right now. So, all right. So I think, yeah, that is the flower. I think it is almost done too. But it is enjoying the bright light here next to a south 
facing window. So this is my Hoya Carnosa that is doing pretty awesome here. I think this is my most thriving Hoya. I have one, two, I think I have four Hoyas in my collection actually. They're just very easy care. That's my Hoya Carnosa that is flowering and beautiful. All right, so the last one I have for you guys uh, into this video is this Diffenbachia Tom Cane that is super tall and beautiful. This almost looks like plastic, but I am telling you it is real. I am actually at the moment air layering it and I am doing a video of this one too so um, tune in for that one soon because it is getting leggy so I wanna chop it but I don't wanna root it in I don't wanna cut it and root it so I want to root it on the while it is attached to the plant and it is actually giving me a new growth over there so I hope once I cut this plant those would uh, give me new branches there's actually two in there there you go if you can see this is a very easy care plant doesn't need much from me I just have it actually I used to have this downstairs on the dining room but since uh, I am doing this early earring thing I wanted it to get more sunlight so that's why I put it up here and I started uh, or I did the early earring just this month uh, I put a date over there so I would remember so I don't think I can see anything happening yet but I will be patient and yeah this is my day in Bakia that doesn't require a lot for me and yet is thriving always has new leaves coming out this is the newest one and there's a new one on the way over here. Very pretty plant. I just have it on the floor here because I needed something, I needed something tall on this corner, so it fits over there. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on the next one. Bye.